All right, hey Aquarius. So we're doing a separated spring love update for you guys. So you're gonna know this is your read by the oracle that I pulled of the energy that sits between you and the person on your mind, as well as your energy and how you feel about love in this moment. So if you guys don't resonate with that, please check your Moon Rising or Venus placements. And if you're new, welcome. I hope you subscribe if you like my energy. Um, so over on Facebook and Instagram is where I've been doing my t daily tarot card pulls, my oracle pulls, my reels, and the readings that don't get uploaded to um, YouTube. So you guys, all right, check me out over there if you feel inclined. Okay, so this is a separated read. Obviously, we have new love coming through. So I feel like this could be a revamp on an old flame, of course. All right. With new love coming through, it could be a new dynamic has been placed on your connection. So you guys could have been going through a drought of uh, communication, a, dr a drought of um, connection, really feeling like, um, you know, the, it's been a, a complete misconnection, R right person, wrong time, da, 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 da. Okay. So since this is a separation read, the way I interpret new love is there is going to be a new spin on an old dynamic. You guys just need to keep positive. Keep the faith that everything can change in an instant. As long as you believe and you got your hope and you're just, you're holding a vision in your heart. Um, you know, you can have that vision. All right. So let's see what your current energy is. Your current energy your current energy, your current energy. Oh, it's like, it's not over. It's not over. It's not over. You got your world card. So you could be feeling like you're sitting on top of the world, but where I'm getting that energy of it's not over is the 10 of swords. Okay. The 10 of swords in reverse tells me that it's not over with, and you got your nine of cups coming through, which is the um, wish fulfillment factor. All right. So something big, something beautiful, something uh, unimaginable is going to happen. It's going to be revealed. That is the energy that you are sitting on right now. The queen of wands coming through. You're feeling like, um, you know, um, you're tapping back into yourself. You know, the queen of wands, um, is this energy of sitting back on top of the world. Okay. So, you know, something's going to change. You know, something's going to improve, you know, all right. The, it's like, no, it's locked in. I'm going to get my way. I'm going to get what I want. I'm going to get my person. I'm going to call in. And I'm going to trust and I'm going to have faith. And that is what you are doing right here, Aquarius. All right. So a new spin on an old dynamic has put you just sitting on top of the world. That's how I am seeing this energy. Um, and it couldn't be more beautiful than it is now. So how do you feel about love? Bring it on, right? You got your eight of wands coming through. It's the bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. I am ready. The queen of wands is ready for her king of wands right and we got the gemini energy of the full card coming through um so okay as it sits i feel like you guys are ready you feel a change is coming you feel something great is taking place um but anyways how you feel about love is like you're ready for new adventures you are ready you're, you know that queen of wands that we just spoke of um, is definitely calling in her queen of wands or vice versa roles reverse however you want to say it um you know i'm not specifically talking to a female i'm not specifically talking to a male but you're you are ready to call in your counterpart and that is what you're seeing right here the full card coming through um bring on that new beginning bring on that new let's 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 check it out i can't help but feel like something in the back of your mind though is still kind of tugging at you with the nine of swords um you know anxiety is this person gonna are they gonna reach out though i know i'm feeling um a certain type of way but is it gonna go anywhere are is this gonna are we gonna be able to do anything with this uh, just sit tight. Don't overthink in, into the future, you guys. It's important to stay present, okay? Who are we talking about? What is their energy? This person's energy currently. What is their energy? So they have been checking out you. Page of Swords energy. Their energy comes through. I got to put these in the upright because I feel like this is all positive energy. Look at that. If you have, if this person's disappeared, it's like, I'm ready. I, I'm, I, I got to show you what I've been working on when it comes to self. All right. The eight of coins is, is super huge. Um, you know what I mean? Their energy, working on self, working on self-love, working on whatever it was that they were fearing beforehand. 
um, their energy coming through the Ten of Cups, I can't help but feel is just right in alignment with how you guys have or how you will reconnect. Um, you got your Six of Cups ready to reemerge, ready to come out of the woodwork, ready to see what you have been doing. You got your Page of Swords. I can't help but feel like that's about time. It's about time. That's what I'm feeling from this energy. It's about time. Okay. So again, um, I just feel like you guys are mirroring this energy. So definitely a confirmation is coming in here for some of you guys. Um, and it's a confirmation that feels really good in your mind, heart, and soul. All right. There is a good confirmation because this person's energy is the same. Okay. What you don't want to do is jump ahead of yourself. I feel like, um, you know, with the six of cups in this person's energy, they're just glad to call you back in or have you back in. Now, what you need to do is for those of you who have not had this happen yet and you can resonate and you're getting excited as I read through this is be excited for what's to come. Don't worry about the, the fact that it's not here yet. Be excited for what's to come. Okay. And just know that a wish fulfillment is basically in your mind and this person's mind. Big changes. Um, I really feel are what both of you want. How does this person feel about you? It's like the entire time you guys have been disconnected or separated, the four of wands comes through. So that tells me that they have been holding space for you. They know, they know divine counterpart energy coming through with that high priestess. You are everything. You are the goddess. You are the empress. You are the high priestess. You are the queen in this person's life. All right. And since you've been gone, bet they've had it just like a ruckus of a time the tower card coming through in reverse like how they feel about you is messed up all right so ever since you guys have had no contact ever since you guys have been um separated ever since you guys have yeah just not been there for one another it's like oh my god this person's just i feel like had a hell of a time you got your ace of cups in the upright so definitely it is strong strong desire to pull this together so we got to see how it is they're going to make this work right but if you're going to come in come in strong don't leave me questioning or confused don't leave me with him and, and han don't leave me pouting don't leave me questioning all right um I'm just kind of saying like hold space for me like I've held space for you right so what's going to happen in the next between now and, and the end of May is what we're looking at over the spring what is turning with this connection the will of fortune wow you guys you got the will of fortune the ace of coins also coming through so big big changes oh goodness gracious and you got your four of cups coming through also. So an opportunity coming in. It's like the hand with the cup coming through. Finally, it's that commitment. Um, perhaps for some of you guys, it's what you've been longing for. All right. Their intentions are truly to come through and show you some sort of change that you have not received from them since you guys have met. It does not matter how long you guys have been in separation. All right, this person is truly coming in to show you a different version of themselves than what you've seen. So now's the time to have faith. Call in what you want, you guys. Um, everything is going to work out in your favor. People, places, things, money, health, everything is going to. And I, I'm going to tell you, um, there's a lot that's been going on in my personal life as of late. But I mean, it's like. My prayers are being answered instantaneously. So you just tell God or the universe what it is you want. Be specific and then boom, it will be delivered. All right. Um, don't think about the past to create depression and don't think about the future to create anxiety. Think about just the present moment and how you can make yourself happy. If this person is here, great. Don't rush it. Um, don't anticipate too much. Just stay, just stay here present and just... Um, grateful for the fact this person's here right now, right? Um, gosh, they're definitely coming back. There's definitely going to be a return. What are their intentions as they come back into your life? And 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 for those of you where this person is not here yet, you guys act act like this is a movie, and I am talking about the forefront. I I am talking about the movie. Their intentions. All right, we got the five of coins coming through. I feel like they're here to work on and repair that past and out energy, that past, um, you know, the connection, the situation that you guys couldn't get past. 
in the previous, they're coming through in king energy. They are coming through in this knight energy, taking action, moving forward, wanting to work on it. I really don't feel like their intentions are to destroy you. I don't feel like they're here to hurt your feelings. Um, I don't feel, yeah, look at that. The five of coins in reverse tells me they're not here to ghost. They're not here to, um, you know, F you up. They're not here to mess with your emotions like you've already, you've already experienced. So what we want to do, Emperor card showing up, what we want to do is see what the long-term potential is as you guys reconnect, as you guys move forward. What is the long-term potential of this connection? What is the long-term? Yeah, look at that. It's like, okay, the past judgment card is truly coming in again. The emperor judgment is truly coming in to show you that this person does mean business. Okay. As far as the long term, long term potential building, growing, succeeding together. Um, but really, um, judgment cards compared to this nine of swords says, I'm not here to show you what you've already seen from me. Let me show you something different. So hold a different vision in your head than what you've had before. What you've actually experienced is time to remove that, time to release it, time to grow, heal, forgive, release. Um, you know, get honest with yourself about what it is you actually want. And don't let this person's past transgressions lead you to a place of doubt. Okay. Set healthy boundaries. Tell this person what it is you want and look forward to that and only that moving forward. Okay, so what does this person want to tell you? What do they want you to know, Aquarius? All right, I'm going to pull these two up just because I didn't like the way they dropped. All right. My higher self is with you every single day and you guys know that. I wish I could hold you in my arms and tell you how much you mean to me and I can feel your energy around me every day. I love it. And that has probably been the, the same type of feeling from when you guys disconnected up until now, up until reconciliation for some of you and up until the reconciliation actually happens for some of you. Initials coming through for you guys. We got F, I, U. K, B, and G. I'm going to leave it here, Aquarius. I'm sending you guys so much love. Have a beautiful weekend. Take care.